Well, 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 I am Draken, and this is the Draken Gameworks. Well, I hope you are doing well yourselves at the moment. I am doing well, and let's try not to well up too much before we get through all of these well puns. Uh, let's just crack on with it, shall we? So in this small tutorial and showcase video, I wanted to have a look at infinite water sources and also to have a look at a few ideas and designs for wells, which you can do based around those infinite water source designs. Now, infinite water sources is one of the probably the most easiest things you can create for yourself in Minecraft. It is literally, literally this easy. We create ourselves a two by two square. We take bucket of water, we pop one in one corner and we pop another in the other corner like this. And that's it, it's done. We can now from these two corners on the other sides, draw as much water as we like and it will not empty it will not empty at all and in fact actually you can do it from the sources even where you put them and it will replenish itself this is an entirely infinite water source and you can get as much water as you could possibly ever need from it at all though i should note that it's not possible to do this with lava this trick will only work with water in minecraft itself but you can draw as much water as you need from these and it's always useful to have one of these around your base because you never know when you're doing your projects with water when you're going to need more water and you might be like a mile trek to the ocean or something like that to go and get some more no nope, much easier just to have an infinite water source on site on your base itself of course, a two by two hole in the ground in the middle of your base isn't really going to be the most attractive thing. So why not use this infinite water source idea and incorporate it into a bit of a build or a design? So here I've got a few examples. I just wanted to showcase of things that might give you ideas of how you could put infinite water sources into your base and fit with the theme of your bases itself. So the first one we've got here is a very sort of traditional sort of style well here. So we have like a bit of a wooden roof and some wooden fencing holding up in place. And it's all contained around with these bricks. And then we've built a bit of a like a cover over the top here where we have a hatch. We can get to our water source from here and then we can close the hatch again. And then obviously we've got the cover over there as well. This next one beside it is a bit more like a grate in the ground. So we have like obviously this little bit of a built up ridge around the outside with the uh, the stone slabs there. And you could probably use some of the new slabs that are coming out in 1.14 when that gets released as well. But what we have is iron grates on the floor here, a little lever at the back here, and that opens up our hatch to be able to get to the water sources inside there. And then we can just seal it straight back off again. And it's almost sort of sits almost flush with the ground. Not quite flush, but almost flush. This one here looks the designed to be just maybe a little bit more like your sort of traditional style well made out of bricks around the side there it's got a bit of a awning over the top again and again you've got your water sources just inside of this one here but this next one over here is changing it up slightly we're using the idea that you can actually access the water from underneath by using a hatch to block it off there and then we can open the hatch and get to the water source that way and it's kind of like a little see-through water tank being held up by these end rods on the side here and the little glass tank at the top there Okay, here's something a little bit different. Sitting flush with the ground, we have just a single hatch here. If we open up the hatch and we take the water out from in here, if it lets me take the water out, there we are, it's actually stopped any more water occurring. But if we close it, it then refills and we can get some more in there. This actually works because the three around here are slabs that are waterlogged and the water log from that is coming through and flowing into the open square where the hatch is. But obviously when we take the water out, the hatch is now blocking and holding the water back there. And then we close the hatch again and it just lets it flood back through again. Next over, using hatches, just hatches this time, we can actually create ourselves what almost looks like almost like a big barrel of water here that is also an infinite water source. So we can just take as much water as we need out of here. And you can open up these sides here as well and just take out from there as well. But yeah, just an infinite barrel there. Turning around, coming behind here, then just getting a little bit more fancy with the redstone, we can just have a little push lever plate here, which we can then draw the water from this corner here. And we come back and it seals back up again. It works basically, we've got a piston just underneath there that's just pulling this block back. And these, again, are waterlogged steps around the side here, which are holding the water through so that basically it's recreating the whole thing and it just disappears out there. As soon as we pull it down, it's gonna put the water source back, back into there and we could just draw from there as well. Your redstone might be a little bit neater than mine. Mine was pretty terrible. It actually requires a little bit of this sort of thing here, covering here as well. So you might be able to do a bit better than I have. But yeah, we come through to this one. Here's an idea. Why not create a tree? You might be able to build better trees than I do. I mean, this is just a random thing that I put together. But if you create a tree here, we could actually put a water source inside the tree itself. So if you've got a more natural build that you still want your sort of well to sit in, then how about this? This will do the trick on this one. If it's getting around to Halloween time, how about this idea? 
This is my idea of like a little bubbling cauldron. We have a couple of soul sand in the bottom there. We can still use it as an infinite water source. So it creates the bubbles coming up. And plus we've also got like a little alchemy stand on there and a couple of skulls all sat around the outside. There's cobwebs. Perfect for your sort of your cauldron or your witchy sort of themed stuff. If on the other hand you're looking for something that's a little bit more art decor, a bit more modern. How about this? This could be incorporated into the floor and you just basically it's a bunch of steps. The water is actually being held on the waterlogged steps around the outside there, but we can draw from one of these waterlogged steps and it will keep replenishing. Or what about this idea? How about we have a fish tank that we take it from as well? Which even live fish, which if you remember my last tutorial with the uh, the water elevators, you'll know that this is probably a little bit more successful than the fact that the fish are actually staying in the tank. As long as we remember to close the hatch afterwards, because I did lose one fish through the hatch before. So remember to keep your hatch closed, but you can otherwise draw water from here. And it becomes quite a nice little central feature for a more modern home. If you're wanting minimalistic though, how about this? You just literally need four steps in the ground and then waterlog those steps and you can now actually just draw from these quite easily. It is not even a full block in depth of water there. It is just literally there, but it just literally draws as much water as you possibly need from there. Taking that one step further, we combine the idea of the barrels and the steps. This time we've got steps up, uh, raised up on the surface and we've put just basically a bunch of hatches around the outside to create the same sort of thing. That gives you a slightly different sort of take on the whole barrel design that you might come across. This one is a little less fancy, it's more designed to show there are other ways of holding water back. Not only can we use the iron gates here, but we can also use railings like this. This is literally able to be replenished here in this corner without a problem. And then finally I thought I would have something that was a bit more never spawned in here. We've got some flames coming over here, we've got lava around the outside, and yet we still have an infinite water source sat in the middle. Though, try build it in the never at your own peril. And that, my friends, is just a short video showcasing some ideas from World Designs that hopefully will inspire you. If you've got any that you create yourself you want to share with us, come and crash us on our Discord or go and share it with our Twitter. I'd love to see what you've got there. If anything here inspires you and takes you forward, that would be great. And hopefully you've learned something from this. If you have learned anything or if you enjoyed this video, please do feel free to drop a like below or click subscribe. And we'll catch you again next time. Bye.